In today's video, we're at Haven Amore, cleaning and preparing the North Wales Super Kids caravan for the season. And whilst we're here, we thought we'd do a cheeky review. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, and he's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. Oh, and that's Becky, Wills' sister. She's joining us today to supervise our cleaning and keep us in line. Let's get stuck in. The weather in Wales of late has been absolutely divine, and today was no exception. We're at Haffern and Moore campsite, formerly the old Butlin site near Pwllelli in North Wales. We're here today to get the North Wales Super Kids caravan all ready for the families who will be having much needed holidays here this season. Let's get this caravan sorted. With the three of us working, it didn't take long to get everything unpacked and the caravan ready for the first occupants. Well done, a tour if you would. Welcome to the North Wales Super Kids Caravan. As I've just said, this caravan provides holidays, well needed holidays for so many families. Come inside, let's take a look. Now we've cleaned it all up. Come on in to the living room. It's nice and spacious. And the sofa over here pulls out into another double bed. There we go. You have your eating and sitting area here for your meals. TV, new, plumbed in by Wills today. Kitchen, lots of storage, you've got your plates in there, I put those in there today. New toaster, new kettle, you keep your food in there. You've got your utilities, your cleaning stuff. This is the drawer that holds all the like things that you don't know where you could find them, they're in there. So sink, oh, we've passed a bedroom. This is what they call the kids' bedroom. Twin bed, under the bed, and loads of games, books, anything your child could need. And then moving on, this is what's so brilliant. This whole caravan is disabled accessible. So complete with the ramp that you saw to get in. You've got yeah, your walk-in shower, you can get a wheelchair in here. You've got your uh, handle at the side of the toilet. And this is the main bedroom. So you've got double bed, single bed. There's also a hoist for your disabled um, children if you need to get that wheelchair. So there you go. Isn't it amazing? absolutely love it so anyone who's staying in this caravan this year have a fantastic holiday you'll absolutely love it you couldn't be staying in a nice place well done Rach good tour wasn't that absolutely lovely well we're gonna go and find something to eat now and explore the center of this lovely site having a more on a serious note the majority of families staying here are referred by various agencies due to their vulnerable circumstances the experience they will have whilst here will create memories that will last a lifetime if you could spare anything towards the charity to support their amazing work, we'd be most grateful. We've linked ways you can donate in the description below. Thank you so much. Now it's time to explore the site. First stop, food. This is the Boardwalk, one of two entertainment centres on site. This one is more tailored to families with younger children, with lots of entertainment throughout the day, fast food places and a pretty decent arcade. Once again I'd left the house without my two peas, but it was okay. This site is obviously aimed at millionaires. Tempe? Ah great, there is a budget option. 2P, champion. Even though this venue has children's activities throughout the day, don't worry, there's a well-placed bar for parents. Now where's our pizza? There it is, and we'll eat it in the sunshine. There are so many different options for eating and drinking on site, you'll be spoilt for choice. You might even meet a dinosaur. There are just so many activities to do. The indoor pool has a four-lane slide, water features and flumes, but we didn't venture in there today. The friendly staff are always ready to help with any queries you may have. As a total newcomer to caravan holidays and haven sites, I was having a brilliant day. Show me the gift shop, please. It didn't disappoint. Sweet dummies, rock and Rachel, innocent lamb. She is sweet and always ready to lend a helping hand. How little they know me. Although I am lending a hand today. Big chair with a photo opportunity. Go on then. The site is split into two halves, with the railway line being the divide. We were now heading over to Dragon Lake's Adventure Village and the sea. Idiot. That'll be Dragon Lake then, complete with dragons. It's in this part of the park where you'll find most of your outdoor activities. To be honest, by now I wanted to stay over and hire me a cart. Having a moor is dog friendly and we loved the bark yard. Everything your pup could want. On such a beautiful summer's day, it was great to see everybody outdoors enjoying themselves. 
there is so much for kids and older kids to do in this part of the site. From aerial adventures to what is that? The jump? You're okay, I'll watch. Or maybe just head into the coast house. Ooh, this looks nice. And this cake store looks divine. Sadly, we were too full of pizza. This is another great dining experience. There are multiple food options all under one roof. And when you're done, you can ride a dragon on the lake. Champion! Now this is the posh bit, the owner's bar. And yes, as the charity owns the caravan, riffraff like us were allowed in today. Very nice. With all these exciting activities to do and amazing places to eat and drink, it's easy to forget that this site sits right on the ocean. We felt it was now time to walk off that pizza and explore the coast. It's about a five minute walk from the adventure village and a very pleasant walk at that. Although the beach just here isn't fantastic, the views across to Harlech and Crickith and beyond the mountains are incredible. We decided to follow the coast path and walk all the way to the headland. We even found time to fly the drone. After all the hustle and bustle of the park, this tranquil walk was a much needed contrast. There are info boards as you go telling you wildlife to look out for. These lucky owners are literally right on the beach. Every time we walk in North Wales, we are always amazed by its beauty. Just around the first part of the headland is this stunning little cove and would make for your perfect bucket and spade day out. No buckets and spades for us today though, we're just walking and taking in the views and it was lovely for Will to spend some much needed quality time with his sister. We couldn't believe this beautiful walk had only a few people on it, I think we passed about eight people in total. So Rach, how are we feeling about caravan sites now? Will we be booking a haven holiday in the near future? We really enjoyed looking around the site. There's loads of things to do for the family. Really, really fancy a stay on a haven site. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. We've now come on uh, Will's sister Becky's favourite walk and it is absolutely stunning. We think that these concrete structures are remains of the Butlins chairlift that was once here. The coastline certainly looks much better without it. Now on the headland, we took five minutes just to look and relax. If you're visiting this site at any time, do make time to do this walk. You won't be disappointed. We thought we'd spotted a trig point and brother and sister ganged upon me to make me climb the hill to check if it was. And it was. Then the other lazy two climbed up to bag it and we enjoyed the views from our vantage point. All too soon it was time to come down. The time had simply flown away from us. Well, that was a fantastic walk, but it's five o'clock. No idea where the day's gone. We're going to head back to the site before we head home. We're making our way back. <laughs> we certainly are, but Becky took us a different way back this time. I think this is the quieter and, well, posher end of the site. I mean, look, they've even got their own lake, this lot. Wills and Becky shared so many happy memories of days spent here in their childhood. They couldn't remember what this building was. Looks like an old stable or barn. But they did remember this and then made me talk about it. Back in the day, back in the 90s, this used to be a miniature railway, a land railway that would take you, we think, to the beach from what Becky can remember. Cool, eh? This would have been the platform. There's something 
for everyone here. A trip to the beach, a walk in the woods, or the many activities on site. And before we knew it, we were back in the centre. We were still full of pizza, so sadly no ice cream, but we needed a drink, so headed back to the other side of the park to the show bar. And what was about to begin? We're in the cove and it's time for the Aladdin show. Cheers! Yes! Wills is definitely ready. Oh, you are not. Rachel's got a boogie on. To be fair, we were right at the back and couldn't really hear, but we got the gist of it. Hang on, Abanaz is a woman. Ah, it's one of those woke pantos. It was all shades of camp and the kids loved it. Moving on, the 70s called and they'd like their windbreak back. One last check over the caravan to make sure it was pristine, an encounter with this idiot and then we were all good to go. So how was your day? It was very good, thanks, and what a lovely day. What Beautiful, a, wasn't it? What a nice place. Never been on a Haven site before. I'd love to have stayed the night. It would have been really nice, and it was so nice to be able to help out, and I'm a bit jealous of all those people mm. saying that caravan. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, I've been on Centre Parks before. I used to work for Centre Parks at one time and choreographed some of their shows for the show bar. Um, I liked Haven. I really liked Haven. It certainly didn't feel like a poor man's centre park no, at, no, at all. If anything, I'd say there's more activities probably are, at yeah. Haven site. And yeah. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And to be in that proximity to that beach and walk, it was it was absolutely stunning. It was nice, wasn't it? See, I remember it. I know Rachel said earlier, but I remember it when it was Butlins because we used to go there quite a bit. And the thing I missed the most is the Boomerang um, roller coaster. That was fantastic, that was. Yeah, but I like what they've got now. Oh, yeah, it's, like, it's a lot it's more. It's classy. As, more, yeah, pleasingly aesthetic. Yeah, that's the one. Now, I'd say. And if you want to go to the beach, you walk to the beach. So mm. it keeps the beaches quieter, yeah. possibly, because yeah, yeah. not everyone does it. And there's so much to do on the site. I bet a lot of people don't even. Head down to the beach. You know one thing I liked? What? I actually like spending the day with my sister. I know. We never spend it. No. We've got this quite a few years between us yeah. and, and we were both busy doing our own thing and we never really get to hang out together. No. So we should do it more often. We should. And we only really see we have a barbecue or yeah. something and that's when we see your yeah. sister. So yes, we need to do it more often. We do indeed. And she kept us in line. Well, she did, yeah. She did. <laughs> For the day. To make sure our cleaning was up to scratch. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so if you would like this video, if you could uh, press the like button, oh, would be nice. Oh, we're doing that? Oh, yeah, okay. We if you could hit the button and do the subscribe, subscribe thing the and leave a comment. Mm. Have you stayed on a Haven site? Yeah. And was it as good as this one? Yeah, if so, which one? Or I, have you stayed in this one? I do believe this is supposed to be one of the top ones in the country because they had so much money spent on it and thrown out and it looks like it as I well. I mean, to be honest, North Wales on a good day is as nice as anywhere in the world. It certainly is. It really you is. can't beat it for views. Yeah. So on that note, mm. we would like to say... Cheers to the good times! times. I knew we were going to a campsite, so I went to buy a camouflage tent the other day. Couldn't find any. Oh.